Okay, I'm gonna kick a few horses out. And I'll leave you guys here. It's uh, had a few times, or even I've thought about it, but I've been asked, what if you just put the camera somewhere and wandered off? Today's that day. Okay, I'm gonna kick some horses out. I'm gonna sit way back here, quietly, with the dog, and uh, I've decided not to put macaroni in. I don't think having two boys in at the same time would be a good idea. 
So. I have to just watch these guys. Piggy the master dancer. <laughs> so we're at seven minutes of recording at the point in time. Although I'll probably minus off all the walking that I did. We'll just watch how these four get along. See Lena having a drink. I just recommend everybody keep some water in your arena or your turnout area for sure. So many not so many, but a few places I've been to, there's nothing. You know, you never know when they want to drink a water. Oops, action time. Alright, so I will do a little bit of movement and zooming here. But I'm going to be very quiet. baby has got a lot to say. And she's gone. <laughs> and she's back. Pow wow. Baby's gonna freak out first, I'm sure. Yeah. Nope. A lot of noise. Now the dog's getting in on it next door. Remember, six to six to twelve minutes. It's when everything should just settle in, everybody gets themselves figured out. That's my theory. I don't know. I'm saying that now. I don't really know for these guys. Very interesting to watch them all to each other with each other. I'll just tuck, 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 tuck. Ears and eyes and tail, body. Fascinating. Three girls, one boy. It's Luke's harem. <laughs> Somebody said that I was Luke's pimp. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. That's my job. I don't just train them. It's getting quiet. It's nice. Oh, here comes the noise. Thanks, Gracie. Yeah, oh, monkey wrench. Just relabel her monkey wrench. Everybody's calm until this basket case comes in. And they're off. It's hard to follow them.
Oh, monkey wrench is at it again. I can't zoom any further. It's the best you're gonna get. I do actually have a zoom lens, but the problem is, is then it's too close when I'm here. And I'd just be moving the camera around all over the place. And I'm really trying to be as quiet as I can, just sitting off to the side, doing nothing, having no influence on them. Letting them do their own thing back there. What is happening? Something's going on in the forest. What could it be? A deer? It's something. Coyote. Once in a blue moon we might see a bear kind of cruise by. But pretty unusual. No, it's not that interesting. Biggie's off. Macaroni is surprisingly calm through all of this. I'm actually pretty impressed with the guy. What's happening here, eh? Who's pushing who and who's following who? And oh, there's Lena saying, go the other way. Uh, almost 15 minutes of them. Not all of them being together, but maybe for sure 10 minutes they've all been together. Pretty close to that. Clock says 14 and a half minutes, so. So, as it goes, it usually turns out, horses get themselves figured out, and, yeah. Six to twelve minutes. action now. Moving up. The horse that moves the most is the one that's least in control, I think. Based on my experience, horses that I've been around that I find I admire that inspire me to be better. Lena learned from the best. I can say that without a doubt. Oop. She learned from a horse we had here named Benny. If I could own Benny, I would. Amazing horse, utterly amazing. Really, really um, powerful, smart. It's a joy to have. Well, Adam. I'll link to his playlist below if you guys are interested in looking at Benny. Beautiful standard bred. I can't remember his age, eight or ten or something. Um, turned into just a wonderful trail riding horse. 
great with all kinds of things. Picked up what I was putting down nicely. <laughs> Piggy. Luke's got to itch his tummy, so that's what he's up to. In case you're wondering. I want to put the drone up high and track their movements in the arena and see if there's any kind of pattern. Just out of curiosity more than anything. I'm literally trying to be as quiet as innocuous as I can. But I'm pretty sure he came up to say hello. Nope, oh, he's a lone wolf now. Maybe getting some water. He's pretty calm, he hasn't really been doing anything. Looks grabbing water. And the other three are doing my leaf job, which is nice. There, I'll just keep them on these three for now. Clock says 18 and a half minutes since I started the video, but you know, they've only been. In I guess 12 to 14. Now they just cruise around together. Let's see what Luke's up to. He's on his way back. Zoop. Coming in as the only boy. Hmm. Now back to the subject of putting macaroni in or not. He's pretty um, possessive over um, Lena. And that's fine and all, overall. <clears throat> but Luke will find himself possessive over one of them as well. And the boys may, they might, just cause a little bit too much trouble having the two of them in here. So there's a bit of a judgment called on that. Do I think they'd work it out? Yes. Do I think anybody would get hurt? Probably no, but it's not worth the chance right now. We'll see how these four do together. It's the first time these four have been together, I think. Oh, it's quiet. Lena's just wandering. She's coming back into the frame in a second here. <laughs> Monkey wrench is in the way. Interesting how Luke's just watching. Stays in one spot.
It's on the move. No, these two are going to have a chitty chat. Oh, that's nice. They're good buddies now. Co-grooming going on. The other two in the background. Now usually I'd change position and go see if I can get a better look at that. Hard to see with Luke's butt in the way. <laughs> but he's just kind of sniffing. Checking Lena now, he's giving her a bite. Get moving. So you better watch it. All just really interesting horse behaviors. Watch them groom each other. And then uh, the other two just sort of wander off. You know, they just sort of do their own thing. See, yesterday when... You know, whoa, wrong way. Lena was doing her clacking thing. It's just a way to tell me to scratch harder. And this is what they do with each other. She'll bite him or chew on him as hard as she'd probably like to be chewed on. And vice versa. Somebody's going to win out the who should be grooming who the most argument. But hopefully it'll be mostly mutual. Hard to tell. You'd really have to really watch carefully to see. This is how uh, horses lose their manes. <laughs> Other horses chew them off because they're itchy. All right, the other two are just doing nothing, so they're not in the frame. See, just chilling out back there. These two are more interesting at the moment. See, there's there's something to that. Chicks down the leg. Nibbles the knee, hits the shoulder. She says, yeah, actually, I do like my shoulder nibbled on. If you could just go further back. Oh. So, that's horses for you. Again, the other two are just chilling out of the back. Oh, looks trying to get a better scent. Lena and heat? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe it's just normal. One boy. One boy is good enough. Especially when mares are in heat. You just get a big fight going on. Oh, that's that. They've gone their way. Looks like, uh, nope. Not you. This is usually Luke's uh, lay down spot. He likes to nap in the corner. I guess it makes him feel safe. I don't know. It's like this is my spot. This is where I sleep. It's time to go sleep, he sleeps. Night night dodos. And then there's the three girls at the back. Doing 
happen. Cables in the way, sorry, I'd move, but like I said, I don't want to have any influence. If I can help it. Oh, no sleepy sleeps. All right, buddy. He's a good looking boy. Now what? It's gonna rub on the fence. Great. Oh, the girls are having an argument. Luke says, I'll get this sorted. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll get this sorted. It's the longest video I've ever taken. We're almost half an hour. I think we've seen most of the communication that's going to be obvious. The rest will be kind of subtle and quiet. It's nice to see baby kind of getting in on that a little bit without freaking out. Pretty swishy tail though. Piggy's just chilling out. throughout all this. I'm really, really happy with the way he's acted. Doesn't feel the need to freak out and be part of everything. It's getting a little more solid as he gets on his age. It's on in age. Gets older. Now, is it draw or pressure that brought them all up here? Do her off again and oh piggy needs another scratch. Another rolly scratch. And there's backing up in the loop. This kind of stuff is interesting to me. They're really quiet. Sort of hang out really close together. <laughs> okay, that's just funny. Um, that is Peggy's. Rolling again. Just stay wide. Got something to say.
Oh, they're going off frame. Thanks a lot. Going nowhere. So there you go. That's what it looks like if I don't get involved at all. They just kind of cruise together and do their thing. Luke's drinking water is what he's doing. God knows why he needs to drink out of that thing. It's just rain water and very little of that. I dumped it last night. So. Lena's still pushing these two around. Lead horse for sure. At least amongst these two. And she just herds them along. Question is why? That's what I want to know. Why? Why is she pushing them along? What's with that? And I just stand around and do nothing. Hmm. See, I had to clear the weeds out the side of the arena. He's got something to say to baby. It's subtle. Maybe not. Quiet now. It's probably in this pretty soon here. There's been a drive line that's been cut off. And these two have to go the other way. <laughs> Territorial bounds that have been crossed, I guess. You guys stay on the right side of the arena. Don't you dare come over. Unless you're past the cedar tree. It's unusual to see Lena play. I'm not even sure she's playing. Um, but Luke's very playful. He'll try to instigate anything. Lena's more like, piss off. Stop it. Stop it. Mm, baby's in on it though. So I'll get in on that playtime. Well, anyways, now I'm making noise. Baby's looking at me. <laughs> Look here, Zeus. Right beside me. Oh, come on, camera. Got it on a little remote control thing. Oh, something's happening here. A chitty chat between these two. Uh, baby says I'm out. Fine. I'm moving. I mean, his ears go back. Baby moves a little quicker. part of this is how much flexion Lena has. She could move her feet and square up to them. She chooses to bring her head all the way around without moving her feet. That's a choice. Nope. <laughs> Hard to avoid that thing. He was like, what are you eating? Weeds. Baby says, I'm eating weeds too. Everybody's like, there's weeds over here? I want some of those. Yeah. Time to get the weed wagger. See, you can't have food around horses too much when you want them sort of just 
to relax because there will be some territorial disputes going on regarding who owns the food. Survival. Survival of the fittest. Horses are total jerks. Very, very selfish. Oh, that's it. Oh, action. See, they found food. That's the problem. It's the monkey wrench. Calm herd. These guys aren't certainly, certainly aren't hungry or anything. They get food all the time, but all the same. Baby the dancer. What is she doing, eh? Alright, well I think that's been pretty good. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this more natural, not me in the arena, having any uh, impression on them and they're just kind of doing their own thing as four horses Roni's eating chilling out in his own place over here he's right where is he? he's up there right there you can see him just chilling out as a good horse should be oh. so Let's uh, let's leave it at that for now. We're just having a pee. Great. And uh, hopefully you guys have yeah got something from that. Rewind, watch some stuff, see how they respond. Yeah, it all matters. It's all important. Okay, we'll leave it at that, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.